Hello, welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm gonna go through my 2023 anticipated reads. Okay, so I'm talking about new 2023 releases and then also books I'm just anticipating reading that I already have that were already out, but I'm gonna start with the books that are coming out in 2023. So let's just get straight into it. Holly Black's new book, that I think it was released already this year. It definitely was already released because I've seen like pictures of it and stuff. She wrote The Cruel Prince. This is The Cruel Prince right here. Loved it. It's a trilogy. I loved the entire series. It's a YA fantasy. She's coming out with Stolen Air, which is about one of the characters who was a lot younger in these books. And I think he's just having his own series now, which is so cool. I didn't know that was happening until it was actually out and I was like seeing pictures of it. My next anticipated read is one of Stephanie Garber's books. She writes the Caraval series, she writes Once Upon a Broken Heart, and then the one that came after it, which is The Ballad of Never After, and she's coming out with a trilogy in 2023, and September 12th, A Curse for True Love. I love that series so much, the books just keep getting better, so I cannot wait for that one to come out. That's one of my favorite book series at the moment. It's another YA fantasy, and it's like very, I would actually say The Cruel Prince is also whimsical. They're both like whimsical series. Once Upon a Broken Heart is definitely more like magical. Another book that I'm excited for, I don't even know the title yet, but it's from an author where like I read her debut book and it's a YA romance. It's called Some Mistakes Were Made and it became one of my favorite books ever. So anything that she writes, I'm going to read it and she has like an untitled being released in 2023. So I'm just going to keep my eye on that. I don't even know the name of it. I just wanted to say that I really want to read her next book and you should read Some Mistakes Were Made and I'll probably definitely be posting about when she does release this next book because I'm going to be right on that. Emily Henry is another author where I've just read a lot of her books or I've read three of her books but I don't think she has that many out. I'm not sure. Emily Henry is another author who I tend to really love her books and she has a book called Happy Place coming out on April 25th. I feel like I'm like I'm doing like a commercial or something. It already has a cover and everything. It looks so cute. She really never disappoints. I just love so much about her writing. I love how she articulates feelings. I love how she makes it like her writing both like deep but then light at the same time, you know? It feels meaningful, but it's also so much fun to read. She's also in my heart, in my mind, she's like the queen of writing banter. She writes it so well and her characters always have so much chemistry. Okay, the next book, I'm pretty sure it came out, yeah, January 3rd. So the next one is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. It's a YA romance. Sometimes I just get in the mood for them because they make me feel so happy and light, you know? Um, I don't know when the next Sarah J Mass book is coming out, but I'm really excited for the next one in the um, Akatar series. Um, I don't know when it's coming out. Farah, put something on the screen if you find anything out about that. Okay, the next books I'm looking forward to, I actually have one behind me. This is the only one that I actually own right now, so um, it is Malibu Rising. I'm looking forward to reading this partly because my mom's already read it, so we could talk about it together, but also it does sound really cool and interesting. I know this is like a lot of, like a book that a lot of people love. I'm currently like having a little obsession with her books because I read Daisy Jones and the Six and I read One, One True Loves and I love them both and then I also have read Seven Husbands before and I love that but I'm kind of on a roll with Taylor Jenkins read books so I feel like I should just stay on this roll, you know? Okay, the Mindfuck series is one that I have been not reading for a long time because it was so big and everyone was talking about it and I was just like, I just wasn't reading it. I think everyone I heard talk about that like loved it and was couldn't stop reading it. So I'm gonna do that except I wanna get like the big book I think. Actually no, I might read it on Kindle Unlimited. Anyway, that's a series. I'm pretty sure it's like a romance series. I think there's like two people together who the guy's like investigating trying to figure out who's like doing these murders, but then the girl that he's like dating is the murderer. It sounds very, very crazy and cool. I want to read Anastasia, the Sophie Lark book. That looks really good. Oh my god, it's Anastasia, isn't it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I actually just recently watched the Anastasia movie for the first time and I loved it. I thought it was so good and I think that a romance around that would be like very interesting. I also really like a lot of Sophie Lark books. Um, I read the Brutal Birthright series and I liked a lot of those ones, so. Okay, so now some Marion is a pot of books that I'm really excited for. I'm really excited for All Roads Lead Here and Wait For It. Those are just the two that have been on my mind lately and I know I wanna read more Marion as a pot of books like in the future. Those are my top two anticipated reads of her books. Although I have Culty, like I literally have that one, so I should just read that one. I'm just less excited to read that one for some reason right now. I want to read A Man Called Ove. Yeah, A Man Called Ove by Frederick Backman. I want to read another literary fiction that's kind of like makes you feel and think a lot. It's one that I'm just looking forward to 
I've heard good things. I want to read Terms and Conditions and then also wait the third book's coming out this year. Shoot what is that one called? So the book that's coming out this year is called Final Offer. I read the final print and I really liked it. I wasn't like it wasn't one of my favorite romance books but I really liked it. Terms and Conditions seems even more interesting to me. I think for me to get hooked on wanting to read Final Offer I'll have to see how Terms and Conditions goes but I'm really excited to read Terms and Conditions. I'm definitely going to get that and read it this year. Another one of my most anticipated reads is Juniper Hill. It's a romance. Oh my god, wait, it's a second book? Okay, so Indigo Ridge is one of my most anticipated reads. There's some sort of like murder, killer, crime stuff going on in this, and then it's also a romance. I've heard so many good things about it, and it sounds really interesting to me, so... I want to give that a go. I really want to read more Taylor Jenkins Reid books in general. Like, I want to read Maybe in Another Life and After I Do. I feel like I should also read Marriage for One um, this year because I've just heard so much about it. It's another one of those ones that I've heard about, like, maybe every single week I've heard about it. Like, at least once a week. So, yeah, at that point, I just feel like I should get it already because the universe is obviously trying to tell me. I just like really want to see what everyone's talking about. So now I'm going to go over the ones I saw in Goodreads that I thought looked cool. I wanted to like talk about ones I haven't seen a bunch of stuff for that looks really interesting to me. What happened to Ruthie Ramirez was one of the ones that sounded really interesting to me. A Puerto Rican family in Staten Island who discovers their long missing sister is potentially live and cast on a reality TV show. And then it got me from there. Another one that I want to read is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride, a sumptuous, gothic-infused story about a marriage that is unraveled by dark secrets, a friendship cursed to end in tragedy, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. And lastly, some books that I have the physical copies of. I know I could have talked about these earlier, but I just thought might as well add them at the end because they are some of my most anticipated reads. The Dead Romantics. This is a romance that I've been talking about, talked about on here before. Definitely one of my most anticipated reads. Another romance is Before We Were Strangers. I also am anticipating reading Furyborn. That's actually my next physical book that I think I'm going to read. Those are all the books that I'm anticipating reading or that are coming out in 2023. I hope that you enjoyed this, maybe got some ideas on what you want to read, or just comment the ones that you're anticipating as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.